Yeah, so we're, we're watching the news, uh, Jennifer Terry, uh, various things, just to make sure things aren't changing at the last minute. Um, maybe we'll mute that for a minute here. Okay, so we've been listening to uh, Jennifer Terry and a couple of other people. We do that pretty much daily now. We've learned quickly to know what uh, what some of the subject matter is going to be and then just curtail listening to it at that point. Um, so this is for the buddies that are going to be traveling to the Philippines. Um, first order of business, go to the Philippine Airlines website. You don't have to have a ticket to do it on their website, though, is the affidavit of undertaking. Uh, really straightforward. Where it says, I so-and-so of legal age, circle married or single, and a resident of, I would say Canada, but I'm going to put my Philippine address on there as well. And then fill out the rest of it. It's all pretty much straightforward after that. Uh, phone numbers, in my case, because I'm Canadian, I put my Canadian number in. And because Lynn's still on a Philippine passport, uh, we just put not applicable because who's got SIM cards that we know for sure work. Yeah. Um, but if, like, when we arrive there, we don't have a local number yet. So on that contact number, we will just put the phone number of our relatives in the Philippines, right. sister or parents, anybody who can be a, a contact number where in case yeah. that happened, the government will contact them. Or something who like who that. knows? Yeah. Maybe we test positive after the seven days, whatever. They'll have a phone number there. Right. Um, I don't know if they do spot checks at the airport, whether they're going to phone that number and make sure that it's, they it's can legit. lock in on somebody yeah. uh, in case you decide to skip out. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown on a summary of things that we locked on to early, but we keep seeing over and over again that people making mistakes. First is fly direct. Fly mm -hmm. direct to the city that you want to go to. Don't try and head fake it. You're going to get caught. People are booking their tickets online. You have to know your stuff before booking online. Right. The, the key of the booking online part is understand that as soon as you land and as soon as you depart that plane, if you're transferring to another airline, so you're going to fly through Taiwan or Hong Kong or wherever else, if you leave that plane, you are no longer transiting and that country could and they have the right made you, to to made you quarantine. quarantine before the next leg of the flight. The Philippine government has also made the airline responsible so let's say you landed in Singapore and you're coming to the Philippines and you're from a red listed country, a la Guam, they won't let you continue. You have to do a full quarantine in the Philippines or in uh, Singapore before they're going to let you continue. Now, the other problem that you run into, will Singapore let you quarantine? <laughs> So you better know all of these host country rules and keep on top of them if you're going to decide to bounce through. Because for you European fellows and, and couples, that might be the only way that you're going to get there is, is yeah. bouncing through a, Singapore. Uh, Singapore or, or through the Middle East or whatever to yeah. get back to the Philippines. So you've got to know your host country rules as well as the rules oh, of the transiting country. country. Yeah. yeah. So second, you've now landed in Manila. You're going to stay on that island until you finish your quarantine, okay? If you land in Manila and think that you're going to then fly to Davao, <coughs> wrong answer, you're now transiting over to domestic, which means that you have left the, air, the airplane that you came in on. You're going to have to quarantine. So this is just how it is. So just to rewind a little bit, in the summer, I think it was, of 2020, countries like Thailand and Malaysia were accepting tourists. Only long-stay tourists, and I will bet you dollars to donuts, 
that the next stage of all of this will be for tourists coming. First, you're only going to be allowed to come if it's a long stay. And second, just like Hawaii, you have to be fully vaccinated in order to go. So that's the key. And make sure you don't jab the day before you're leaving. Yeah. Because your card has to reflect, I believe it's two weeks before you can get on the plane. So not all, all of us are comfortable with needles, let alone vaccines, let alone all the conspiracy stuff that's out there and all that. And you can weigh all that stuff out for yourself. But at the end of the day, our freedoms are our choices. If we want to go somewhere and the rule is, then you just have to do the rule. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People go on and on about freedom. Freedom is your ability to go somewhere. Freedom is your ability to reflect on the country that you've been to and realize you're not doing so bad compared to the other guy. That's freedom. If you go to work, that's called a contract and you are obligated to do something during that time. You're not just free to come and go. So anyway, I like to get that stuff out of the way. Uh, on our hotel, uh, Lynn and I battled through a number of emailings with various hotels. Uh, we like Red Planet. We won't use Red Planet. It does not have hotels or uh, restaurants. And the other thing that we kept running into is meals being shown in various videos that were fast food. You're going to pay 200 pesos for a meal. You want a meal. Mm -hmm. So that's not to say that you're going to get around a lot of this. You're still going to get what they give you. Um, but for us, a key was, will that hotel go and do a shop for us? Red Planet said, only if we have staff. So if we get there and it's not there, we're done. We can't do a shop. Okay. Uh, we are going to bring a number of things with us, but... There's a few things that I would like to have um, that, that is not going to come in any of those meals for 10 days. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Okay, so then we finally locked in on for sale. Right, yeah. Like a lot of the hotels, they're no longer, well, a lot of them aren't taking Visa anymore. It costs them too much money. That's right. That is why if you wanted to book your hotel for quarantine the Bureau of Quarantine website has a list of quarantine hotels for stringent or mandatory quarantine and if you could you better contact the hotel themselves like you have to have a, a conversation with the hotel staff manager or assistant manager of the hotel where you want to stay instead of booking through online like Agoda or, or Expedia or Booking.com because you might, not, or you might be having a problem at the airport because you need to have a booking itinerary and official receipt which you've already paid to the hotel. Otherwise, at the airport, the immigration or the Department of Health people will let you book your, you know, your hotel at the airport before going out because they'll make sure that you're going out into a hotel and not going home. Right. And if you are, let's say, a foreigner who are very, you know, strict on your diet or very, you know, uh, concerned about the food that you might get at the hotel, you might not get a five-star you know, uh, accommodation with regards to your food. So what you could do is contact your hotel, The, you know, if possible that you could get a grocery, like a can of tuna or maybe a cooked food like lechon manok or whatever, but they can only do that one, one. time. Only like once. the hotel where we will be staying, we contacted them if we, we could send them on a grocery shopping and then they said yes on the day of our arrival. Why? Because once we go inside our room, we could no longer come out until the seventh day, which is our 
PCR test, you know, um, the PCR test itself. So well, once it goes negative, yes. then we can go out. Yeah, yeah. and then after nine on the ninth day or probably eighth day we will receive our test then that would decide whether it is positive or negative then you know if it is positive hopefully not we will have to stay another who knows how many days inside the hotel but so far we only booked nine nights ten days because that is the requirement and if it turns out negative on this on the eighth day upon the result then we will be leaving on our 10th day, which is our checkout date. Yeah. So yeah, if you're particular with your food, ask your hotel before booking, before paying, ask the hotel if they could do the grocery shopping for you when you arrive. You can give them the list, they'll buy the grocery and give it into you, send it into your room, but it's only one time. And yeah. one thing that I also learned from other people that traveled, they only get as much, you know, water supply, right. the drinking water supply it's in their totally room. Inadequate. So you have to ask them how many liters of water they will supply for the 10 days duration of your stay. If you are a water drinker, like you could drink two liters a day, then you have to compute that times that into 10 days. So you have ample stock of water otherwise some hotels based on the horror stories of these people that you know where they experience that they only have limited supply and then when they tried to contact the hotel stop the staff downstairs trying to phone them nobody is answering yeah. them you're in quarantine they really have no reason to talk so to you, it is right? hard it's so. hard to be inside a room you know alone and then you are not talking to anybody outside other than going online. So make sure you have your phone at the airport, buy a local SIM so you could contact your family. Have you heard that we're allowed to do that? I think so, because oh. there are lots of um, I suspect like global and smart sellers at the exit area well, of if, the if we're even airport. Allowed. My assumption is we can't do anything. We're going to be escorted yeah, to the taxi. That's my presumption the right. whole way. But yeah. The last time we flew on board yeah, on we the were plane, given a we SIM were given card. a SIM on board. Yeah. So then it's just a matter of loading having your one SIM. of your friends that would load that SIM, yeah. right? There is a loading station, you know, before you exit the airport. Well, I don't know if they do still it. are <laughs> in there right now. I don't know. But, you know, you could just ask them or when you get into the, the hotel, ask somebody to load your SIM card or... Yeah. You know, if Lots somebody of family will, members know yeah, how to do it if too. Somebody will they go can into transfer the part of a load to you and buy that for, you know, ask them to buy as well, you know, yeah. the load for you. Just a load card that costs 100, 300 and 500 pesos. 500 pesos is a big, you know, is, is you know, enough load to, you know, get a data and contact your family, call or text them. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so here's the order of things. You're going to do your affidavit of undertaking because you've got that. You can do that right away. Yeah. Second, you're going to keep up on the Canadian side of things to make sure uh, with Philippine Airlines in our case that the Philippines, my landing location is still requires no PCR test. Um, the second step is uh, three to five days, probably three. Um, load the uh, One Health app. Mm -hmm. um, no, sorry, register on the One Health website, right? It's not an app. Which is the... The One Health. No, it's not an app. Right. It's still, so you know... You register online with that one. Yeah. You download the Traze app, T-R-A-Z-E. Yeah. You download that as well. Then when you're at the airport, finish the One Health thing online, which will give you... You have to have a boarding card to do it. So you're going to enter that information in there and then you will receive a QR code. This QR code is going to be used multiple times through the airport just to get out. If you get all of that stuff done, you could almost get through that whole process and get out of the airport in pretty much normal time. But if you don't do this stuff, apparently the lines are quite long and the, uh, if multiple planes are landing at the same time, you could be, one guy said it took four hours to get through the, all the different stages. 
we pre-booked the whole hotel. We did not care about trying to go through other countries for the reasons we explained earlier. All to save a couple of hundred bucks. Yeah. It's not worth it. Mm -hmm. You're, we're going long, long term, so no horsing around. I don't want to have any issues all along the way here. Right. So now when you go to get into a taxi or the driver that is, you have prepaid through your hotel, the reason it costs so much money, guys, is because that taxi takes you to the hotel, confirms that you are now officially in and their responsibility. They're taking responsibility all the way through. Because they're doing that, the, the taxi then must return with paperwork back to the airport and to show that you let To confirm you did your what, hotel. Yeah, yeah. The both the taxi did their job <laughs> and you yeah. did what you're supposed to do, exactly. which is quarantine. So okay. you have to understand why they are asking that much price. But in this pandemic, yeah. you are traveling, just, you have to take the risk and just spend whatever is necessary because, yeah. you know, you, otherwise, you just, have to think just stay that you're, at home. You, you just have to think that you're checking into a hotel in downtown Vancouver. And that's what it's going to cost you, even though you're in, in the Philippines. Yeah. It does not matter. This is just part of the price to go. And uh, uh, so there you go. Um, we'll give you another uh, detailed up, update uh, after we've um, we got to, the, to yeah. those app, app yeah. stage and the online stage with the right. One yeah. Health. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Dad? I think so far we've covered what yeah. we need to cover for now yeah and then we'll get them we'll get back to you know the day before we fly or something like that something like that the if we see something along the way we'll do an update but yeah um we've so, got our videos doing other stuff and and uh we right. might give little snippets in there but but really this is the video and then the one more before we leave and then as soon as we get to the hotel we'll give you a full rundown Step by step by step by step. Right. And if we're allowed to take any pictures, we'll take pictures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Hey, Hasta bye -bye. la vista, baby.